Ah, uh, the 11th of Nisan, a day that pulses with spiritual significance. The Rebbe, a luminary whose insights continue to illuminate our path, laid out a tapestry of divine concepts, and now we're delving into the profound subject of fear of God. You know, it's not that knee knocking fear we're talking about here, but rather an awe, inspiring reverence, a recognition of the infinite, a kind of holy trepidation that heightens our every action. And this, my friends, is just the beginning. As we're journeying through the chapters, we're gearing up to explore the variegated landscape of love for God. Imagine love as a spectrum, with hues and tones stretching from the warm, fiery reds of passionate devotion to the cool, deep, blues of boundless loyalty. Each chapter is like a brushstroke on this grand canvas of spiritual emotion. Let's not forget the golden rule, the bedrock of Yiddishkeit, Hashem is king. Before you dive into the Torah, before your hand reaches out to perform a mitzvah, take a moment, pause, picture the vastness of the universe and feel the weight of majesty. Because in that stillness, you're not just doing a deed. You're connecting with the source of all energy. Every commandment, every tiny detail of a mitzvah is like a thread tied directly to the divine, each with its unique shade and resonance of godly energy. When you grasp this, even the most mundane act becomes a dance with the divine, a step in the eternal ballot of creation. Stay tuned as we're about to dive deeper into these mystical waters, exploring how fear and love intertwine, dance, and ultimately elevate us in our quest to connect with the infinite. Keep that spark alive, and let's keep soaring on this exhilarating journey together. Until next time, keep those spiritual antennas tuned in and receptive 